Hey everybody, I'm Joel Strickland and thanks for stopping by Surviving Duck Season this week. I've got an incredible snow goose hunt I'm going to share with you. But before I do, if you're a new viewer to this channel, please subscribe. That way you won't miss any of our great videos. Click the bell notification because we've got videos that come out every week. Um, lots of different types of content, not just hunts, but we do tips and tactics. We've got our feature episodes that we run um, for surviving duck season that are stories from across the country about guys who hunt every day of duck season. So you don't want to miss any of that. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. These are companies that support everything we do on our YouTube channel with surviving duck season, Mojo Outdoors and High and Dry Waders. You can find the links to their websites in the description section below this video or at our website, survivingduckseason.com. Now here's my story. Um, I've been snow goose hunting for probably about 30 years. I started back in the, uh, in the 80s, and it was obviously a lot different back then. The kind of decoys that I used were white trash bags and a wire coat hanger, and we would straighten out the coat hanger, jab it into the ground, and then hang the, uh, the bag off of it. It'd catch the wind, and it would move around, and, and it worked, believe it or not. We didn't have any layout blinds. We just wrapped up in a white sheet or got a Tyvek suit or something like that. And, uh, and that's how we hunted them. Throughout the years, I've, I've been on some incredible hunts all across North America. Lots of 100 bird days, 200 bird days. But the hunt that I'm about to show you is the very best hunt I've ever been on. And it's not because it's the most birds I've ever shot. It's about the quality of the hunt. And so on this hunt, I'm actually not even hunting. I'm the camera guy. Uh, Jason Craig from Texas and a few of his buddies are the ones that are hunting on this segment. So Jason found a field that had geese in it. They'd been using it for two afternoons. And so we decided to go in mid-morning to start setting up because the birds would be coming in about noon. So we got to the field about 10 o'clock in the morning and there was already probably a thousand birds in the field. So we got them out, we pushed them out gently and we started setting up. We're using windsock decoys with heads. No full bodies, no vortex machines, no kites. We brushed in our layout blinds with natural cover from the field. And we couldn't even get the trucks out of the field and the birds were already coming back. Probably three different times while we were getting things set up, snow geese were trying to come in. I was like, this has all the potential of being an unbelievable day. While they're setting up, I'm, I'm getting like some really great footage. I mean, pointing up in the sky and everything and geese are flying over my head and they don't seem like it's bothering them. I mean, it's, it's really the craziest thing. So Jason and I had a quick conversation about what we wanted to try to do. You know, we didn't want to do, you know, the same old snow goose video that everybody does. We wanted to try to make it right. And it, from the looks of things, we might be able to make that happen. So we decided that what we we're going to do is I was going to let them know, you know, when I had good footage and they could shoot. About the time they're putting out the last few decoys, here comes another big bunch. Get them in the box, guys. So the plan was we're going to shoot a few birds early, you know, kind of see how they react to things, and maybe if it's good, we're going to take some risks. We need to kill these. On these three low. Let the flock come. Let them come. Go, you call it. You get these ones in the back to start playing. 
four you, right here, five. You ready? ready? Kill him. Kill him, boys! There you go. We decided that we were going to shoot singles, we were going to shoot some small groups and pairs, and then we were going to get a few really good bunches to try to finish into the decoys. I'm on the single. I'm on the single. Do it. Good one. They're going to do it. Get them, boys. Coming around. Get down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let them come. Get them, boys. Take him, boys. He puts his feet down, we're gonna take him. Take him, Bob. What? I <laughs> lord. Ready? All right, the back one. Kill it. Kill him, boys. Good. All right, get ready. That's him right there. Ready? Ooh. Can I honestly say I've never shot a goose that's done that before. <laughs> I, did, did something weird happen? Dan, kill that bird. Yeah, we're gonna take his low bird. Now? Yeah. Take him. One bird. Sweet. That's good. Good shot. I'm more of a duck hunter. I enjoy doing that because you can call the birds in, they come in, they try to land, that's how you shoot them. Snow geese just typically don't do that. Here they come. Let them land. <laughs> These are going to come back. The key to this day obviously was being on the X, but it was also having a really good wind and the sun both at our back. Here they come back, boys. That's what I'm looking for right there. <laughs> when the geese start coming in and they start giggling, it's just laughing. <laughs> They're already on these five or six or 20. Now, boy. Oh! Oh my <laughs> mercy! Oh my. It's so much fun. I mean, after the shooting finishes, they're all laughing. <laughs> we had thousands and thousands of geese that were well within shooting range, but we wanted them committed. We wanted them feet down. We wanted them like you're supposed to shoot snow geese and that very few people ever get the opportunity to actually do. We're going for quality. We're trying to make a really awesome goose hunting film. We're holding off and we're only shooting when it's absolutely right. And it worked. I mean, and it worked over and over and over again. Ready. 
they're flocking back. Stay low, guys. Ready? I'm ready. Take it, boys. Out front, too low, guys. Kill him, boys. That was fun. <laughs> Take him. Single. Got him. All right, Dan, go shoot him. Shot. Let's see if we can get this flock in. On the right flock, lower bunch. Go you yell and win. I'm on them, so y'all wear them out when they get in there. Ready? I'm ready. Get them, boys! <laughs> Couldn't help myself. <laughs> I've thought about this hunt so many times because it was just such a cool thing. We got snow geese to act like ducks. We got them to finish in the decoys like ducks, and that just doesn't happen. I still see it, you know, I can close my eyes and I can still see the geese come, I can, I can still hear them coming. We will remember the way the birds acted. We'll remember, you know, how many came and how many went and how close they got. I mean, there was a few times where I thought we were gonna to try to catch them out of layout lines. So that's my very best snow goose hunt in my lifetime so far. I'd be interested in knowing about what you guys think about what makes a great snow goose hunt. Is it how many birds you shot? Is it where you went? Is it who you were with? Is it the quality of the hunt? You know, tell me. I'd like to know. Put it in the comments below. Let me know, you know, things that you think make a great snow goose hunt. Now, make sure to, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm Joel Strickland. God bless and good hunting.